What is going on everyone? My name is Eskimo and I am playing a very sweaty match of Mercy and I was actually doing a live com then my uh, microphone was unplugged I was like no! <laughs> Why did I have to do that? But here we are. Yeah, this is gonna be a very sweaty game as you can see Lancer's out already before it's uh, just everywhere Lancer's. Lancer's there, Lancer's here, Lancer's everywhere. Oh god. Oh god. Was he stuck? Yeah, he was. So it looks like they are choosing to play inside of the church. Uh-oh. I knew it. They're playing inside of the church. So what I'm doing right now is just pretty much a sound horn and blah. Where are they? So I see that they are inside of the church. I'm going to choose to ignore ignore that guy. Push inside of the church to get him out of here. Hopefully there's no frag tagged, which there isn't. And I don't see... What? How did that stun me? No idea how that stunned me, but, you know, I am able to pick up the kill. So, here we go. 1v1 inside of Mercy. I already have a few shots on him. So, it's not that hard of a kill. And I actually do have in control of the church right now. So, hopefully they don't come in here again. Someone... <laughs> My teammate ends up killing herself, himself, whatever sex they were. But, you know, we're actually in a good position right now. We have control of the church. We have control of up top. That means we have mortar and frags. I think we had Tebow before the person killed themselves. So it looks like they are pushing up top. So what I'm going to do, actually, throw a frag up there, stop that rush, and be like, Nope, you're not rushing my teammates, buddy. Oh, so there's, there's a... Oh, with no ammo! Slapped! Slapped! So I took out four guys there, actually. Gave them the no respect slap. And I had no idea that I was that low on ammo, but I actually picked up two people with the frag. And it looks like they are actually in control of church and did not get killed by my uh, f planted frag. But that's entirely okay. Yet again, Pink Ninja, stop killing yourself. Holy Jesus. What? How are you not dead to da down? I don't know, but what we're going to be doing right now, guys, is just taking control of their side. So, we are flawless right now. 7-0, and, oh, and they are actually inside of the church going, Hey, let me glitch that is on this. So, I'm like, uh-uh. Oh, there goes one of your frags. What are you, you going to do now? You're going to focus on that side, aren't you? Oh, picks off one kill. So, there goes the other one. And the guy's actually in front of me, and I see that, and I pick him off. And fortunately for him, he rolls, so. Don't know what that was about, but here we go on Mercy 8 and O, oh, and let's go! I love Gears of War 3. I do not love my teammate, Pink Ninja, killing themselves over and over. But what I'm going to be doing right now, grabbing ink yet again, because I am by myself. And the ink is pretty overpowered in this game, not going to lie about that. Sounds like they are going to rush up top instead of going for incense. So that could be good and bad. It looks like we have all kinds of things going on. Like we have a superior fling going on right now and Pink Ninja drops our first kill. Good job, Ninja. I'm actually going to throw a incense up there and cut off their pretty much their, their ability to travel. So as you can see, that person's trapped inside of fire. And I end up actually getting the kill. Because she rolled into my fire. Going to get the down. And my teammate's going to try and take it. But I'm like, uh-uh. I'm going to get that Michelle swag. Let's go. Oh. That is a fight I cannot win. So what I am going to do is probably going to get Lancer down. Yep. Nope. I am Audi R8. Let's go, Bastion heads with the double kill on my teammates inside the church and see what's going on. You gonna try and rush, huh? Oh shit, oh shit. Don't, just, just mind me. I'm a friendly little Eskimo, okay? Don't mind me. Oh, look, look, look at that furious rush coming from my teammates. Retro charging out, like, rah! <laughs> They're definitely doing something fierce. Let's go, baby! What? How does that not stun him? More importantly, how is he not down? Cantus! Cantus, what the? Uh, you're gonna take my ammo after I get the kill? 
What the heck, man? I thought we were friends. Man. I am still flawless, though. 11 and 0. I wonder how flawless we can get before I die. Hmm. Let's see. I think they may change up their tactics a little bit and come inside of the church. But it looks like this is where things are going to settle down a little bit. But that's not the case. Because they are deciding to push. They don't see me. So... I'm pretty much going for the long, 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 long flank, and they do see me. One person sees me. Gonna pick off that kill. What the hell? No, I'm not. What the hell? Are you gonna keep on eating? Apparently so, but I do. I did get the kill. I am coming from behind them. I'm gonna hopefully get off the jam. So there we go, we unjammed our gun. Gonna run up top, so we're gonna salvage this. We're gonna come back from our deficits. Let's go, baby. Oh shit. They're all running. They're they're playing it. They're playing pretty fierce right now. Okay, come on guys. Oh teammates Lancer! You can't kill him with your sawed off from a mile away. Maybe you can actually, this is Gears of War 3. Wait, this is this is after the patch. Oh, my teammates are dead. Teammates are dead. <laughs> and, uh, all because they wouldn't Lancer. The enemy team is, in fact, Lancering. So, what what's going on right now is not something I would prefer to be going on. But I do pick off of that kill. And my teammates are actually going to have a 3v8 situation. So, what is going on? Oh! Merton no Mercy, the sponger with the one shot kill. But Identix actually has an ink and is standing right next to Incense. So I'd like to see what that person does, even though they are 3 and 11. Oh, Tasty Waffles with the one sawed off kill. Is gonna, no, he's going to jam his gun and probably get downed. The enemy team is going to take advantage of his waffles. The, oh, no, oh, no. He's, he's getting some pretty. Oh, what the? <laughs> the sawed off range in this game. Oh, is he going to get the double? Go, go, Tasty Waffles. Oh, he gets the double. Go for the trip. Tasty Waffles is going in for the. Oh, my God, he gets the trip. <laughs> no, go for the quad. What are you doing? Oh, he must be out of ammo. Tasty Waffles is going, going for the chainsaw. This is a superior form of tactics I have never seen before. Rushing at two people with a chainsaw. He almost got it, but. In Eskimo's top five plays, we have Identix in a 1v4 situation, and Identix actually has the ink, and I'm wondering what she or he is going to be doing to make this come to her advantage. There is an Ensign on the ground. Ensign going to throw the... Oh, stuns herself! Oh my god! And stands in it too, and is going to kill herself! <laughs> oh my god! The plays are being made right now from the COG team. Team Escobromo. Oh man, superior form of everything. Alright, well COG team, let's go up top. Let's take the top from them. Because we're not going to let them have the top while you all just go and die and waste my respawns, okay? So that's what we're going to be doing right now. I see, I see, I hear the retro lancer, but I'm going to ignore it. They're going to push down for the kill. Yes, they are. I end up getting the down. My kill gets stolen from Cottonmouth. Cottonmouth doing a superior play right there. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's go. Oh, I see you. I see you. Oh, Spider-Man. 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 Spider-Man does what Spider-Man wants to do. Okay. Oh, superior. Superior retro lens. I clearly got outplayed right there. But what I'm going to be doing right now is going to go help my, my teammates, even though they clearly don't need it. Just wasting one of their power weapons. They clearly don't need it, even though they're about to get rushed. They, I don't know what the Locust was plan was right there, because they just rushed and cut it off. But I did see a Locust can't I coming over here, so I'm going to cut off that assault while I have the chance. I actually hear him getting downed. So he's actually picked up by the Team Escobromo and Pink Ninja. Just not doing work today with the with the Torque Bow. It's not her day. But uh, 
The Locust team is actually pushing up. Oh, what the hell? Kansas' body is just falling and doing some pretty crazy stuff. I may say so myself. Oh. Oh. The Locust team is actually in control of up top. And I, I, what? That up A should have killed him. But instead, I got killed. Superior plays are being made right now from the Locust team. And we're just getting the D. All right. All right. Come on. Oh, thought that ink would have stunned him. This is not a Gears of War judgment grenade. Dang it. I need to get used to it. Need to get used to it. And I'm actually going to be rushing behind them right now. They don't really see me coming behind them. Oh, they do. They do. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That could have been a superior play. All right. Next level movement. Coming on. No. All right. Come on. Team Escobromo. Tasty Waffles. The wild card. Who? Oh! Tasty Waffles. You were just going in. And it looks like... We are in a even situation right now. With the Locust team just camping up top, the COG team just aren't able to hold it. But we're going to do some superior form of m m m m plays. Like right there. Gonna, gonna directly stun the guy, not down him. Because, you know, it's Gears of War 3. Every, everything that you plan on to happen never happens. Sit down, Biatches! Oh my god, El Blade! Oh! This is my game. You don't want to touch me on Gears 3. Son, an Eskimo with the trash talking. Oh my god, Eskimo is giving the verbal to the the uh, Locust team. Is he going to get picked off? Oh, oh, no, he's not. What the hell? I don't know what's going on with Eskimo, but... It's clearly not him at his finest. And again, the Locust team are doing some very weird shit, and I don't know what it is. Oh, okay. Just barely dodging. And is Tasty Waffles the wild card going to do something special? Oh, no. Nope. Tasty Waffles gets picked off. One of the COG team's greatest players ever. Tasty Waffles was picked off, unfortunately. But we are in a 4v5 situation, and we have seen greater things great things and Eskimo is actually making the decision right now to go and help out his teammate don't know if that's a wise decision and his teammate doesn't need his help anyways and they're gonna actually pick off Eskimo with the hammer burglar hamburglar oh and the locust team is gonna pick off Eskimo and unfortunately it looks like everything is just gonna come down to it's it just all ending with a very unfortunate and tragic ending to what was an epic match. Oh my god. But can Cottonmouth clutch? We were watching Cottonmouth in a 1v3 situation. Uh, he, the plays are not being made right now. He just doesn't know what to do and gets taken out. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, it's taken out, but the Locust team had superior strategy, and they claimed map control very early on in the final two rounds, and the Cogs just couldn't capitalize on their successes. But yeah, guys, I've been Eskimo. I am signing off, and I shall see you all next time.